So we're going to print on a book cover on the LEF2 200. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the book cover in the in the bed itself and just align it to the groove that's built into the bed. And normally the the cover would need to be closed, but I'm bypassing the switch, which is up in here, with a screwdriver just to kind of so you can see the the operation of the printing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell it to set up, and the machine will ask us what the height is. I'm going to lower the bed just a little bit and bring it underneath the height uh, sensor. The height sensor is back in here, and all we have to do is put the material underneath it and raise it up into the, uh, the printed object, and it'll stop. What I like to do is just go down two or three more clicks just to give it a little bit extra space, and then I'll hit enter. And now it's already, it's already uh, set the height for the, the print. So now we're ready to print. Now back at the computer, we're going to output through VersaWorks. We're going to drag our file into the VersaWorks queue. Once the file is in the queue, we can double click on it to bring up the options. In the Quality tab, first we'll notice that the image came in with the spine towards the right hand side. We want to put the spine in the middle, so we're going to flip it over by clicking on the Orientation button. Now once it's in the middle, we're going to choose high quality. This is up to you. You can choose any quality you wish. To print white underneath the gold, we need to go to mode and select white under CYMK. Then we can go to the color management and select true rich color 3. Once we select the white under CYMK mode, if we click on the special color tab, we can then check the Generate Special Color Plate and make sure that the special color is white. Now we're ready to output. If we want to print gloss, it's done in a similar fashion. We'll double click on the file. Under, under Quality, we're going to select Special Effects and then select Gloss Varnish. The difference between the gloss and the matte varnish is the time that it takes for the UV light to cure the ink. If you want gloss, the UV light will move forward and cure it a little bit delayed so it becomes glossy. If it's cured immediately, it'll be a matte finish. Once gloss varnish is selected under the mode, we can then go down to special color and check the generate special color plate. In this case, let's make sure the special color that it's generating is gloss and not white. Now we're ready to output just gloss varnish. Make sure not to move the object on the bed when you're printing the gloss over the top of your print. So if we show a close-up of what this printing, it's actually printing white first, and then it's going to print the color on top of the white. And white white's going to print maybe a half inch or so prior to the color being printed. 